Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Brass Monkey X and welcome to another gun cleaning video. So this past weekend, me and some friends, we went and did some uh, sporting clays. Uh, we brought the wives along, so there was there was six of us total. I brought two of my shotguns out there with us, so between the six of us we had to share two shotguns. So they got pretty dirty, so uh, I figured if I got to clean them, why not make a video? Um, yeah, if you guys have never been sporting clay shooting, it, you should try it. If, if you're a gun enthusiast, I, I think you'd love it. It's a great time. There was uh, What you do is you go out, they give you a golf cart, and you go station to station. There was like 18 stations, I think, total. You stop at each station, and uh, you just shoot clay pigeons, guys. It's it's a real blast, pun intended. Um, the first time I ever went out, I, I didn't score very well. Out of 100 targets, I only hit like 21, 22 my first time. But uh, this time around, I, I did significantly better. I, uh, we didn't finish a course because we ran out of time. We only did 92 targets. But out of 92, I hit I hit 40, the most out of the group. So, uh, yeah, I did pretty well. I'm getting better at it, and I'd, I'd like to get out there and do some more of it. I mean, sporting clays is definitely a good time. But uh, enough talk. Let's get into it. I'll show you how I clean these double barrels. Um, I'm only going to do one of them on video, even though I have two of them, because it's, it's pretty redundant. It... The same way you clean this one is the same way you clean any other double barrel shotgun. The process is exactly the same. Um, you're going to need a few things. I got my Hops number 9 bore cleaner. Okay, I get it in these big industrial size bottles. And I fill it up in these little spray bottles here. They work great. I love doing that. Um, I have the Hops number 9 lubricant. Hops number 9, the field oil wipes. Um... You're going to need a couple of pads here, cleaning pads. And of course, they're Hops number 9 as well. No, they don't sponsor this video in any way, but I just like their products. Um, you're also going to need a cleaning rod okay, with the extensions on it. You're going to need a mop end on it too for a 12 gauge. <clears throat> um, but yeah, let's get right into it, guys. So the first step is to uh, take down the shotgun. You're going to want to disassemble it. Um, let's see here, you're going to take the fore end off, they all pretty much come off the same way. Um, there isn't much cleaning to do in the fore end, doesn't really get very dirty. I mean, we'll wipe it down though. Um, and you're going to take your barrels off, you separate them from the receiver here, okay. Now we'll just get right to it. Alright, so. First thing we do when we're when we're cleaning any gun guys is the bore cleaner, okay? We're gonna spray the bore cleaner on anything that got dirty and it's gonna loosen up all that fouling, all that crud that gets in there, all that powder, all that burnt up everything. Just go ahead, spray that down in there. You don't need a lot. Set that off to the side, let it sit. Okay, then we're gonna spray some down into the barrels, okay? <clears throat> I like to be real liberal with it. The more the better, if you ask me. You just got to make sure you clean it all out when you're done. Um, now what I do is take one of these patches. Okay. Put it in the barrel. Take my cleaning rod, shove it down in there, okay? Sorry, I'm going to do that off camera, guys. Okay, you just push that through. You don't want to pull it back through, so you're going to have to take the mop end off. Okay. Pull your cleaning rod back through. Okay, and put the mop back on. Take another cleaning pad. 
do the same thing in the next barrel. Sorry for the funny angle here, guys. It's really difficult to do this on camera. And push it through. Again, you want to remove your mop. So you can get the rod back out of the barrel. Now go ahead and set that aside. You're going to let that bore cleaner do what it does. Let it sit for a little bit. Not too long, just as long as it takes us to clean the, uh, the, the main frame of the gun there. All right. Now that this was sitting for a little while, I'm just going to take one of these rags, come in here, and just wipe everything down. Okay? Get all that nastiness out of there. All that burnt up gunpowder, all that carbon left behind. I mean, before I took them out this weekend, I actually gave them a real thorough cleaning. So I'm not, I, I don't need to get in here with the brush or anything and get too thorough with it. I don't need to disassemble anything and run it through the ultrasonic cleaner or anything like that. I was giving it a good wipe down. Make sure there's no more carbon. I want to make sure this gun is nice and clean. This is actually the, uh, the shotgun that I use here for uh, small game hunting. The uh, small game hunting season's coming up next month, so uh, it's right around the corner. Yeah, this is this is my uh, my squirrel shotgun. Yeah, as you can see, not much more coming out of there. That's pretty much clean. Let me call that good. Go ahead and take the fore end here. You can wipe that down a little bit too. Like I said, the fore end doesn't get too dirty. If you're doing a thorough cleaning, you might want to get in there and really scrub that down. But like I said, I gave these a thorough cleaning before we went out this weekend. So as you can see, there's not much, not much soot coming off of that. <clears throat> All right. Next step come in here with another rag and we're going to clean these barrels out okay now that the uh, the bore cleaner has been sitting on there for a little bit I don't know if you can see down in there it's hard to see yeah they're they're not too bad since I ran that first patch through usually you can see all kinds of carbon built up on there but I was the only one to actually used this shotgun this weekend um, a couple of the guys tried it a few times but they weren't a big fan of it. It, it doesn't have such a it doesn't have such a long barrel on it. The uh, the butt pad on it has like no protection on it at all, and it, it this thing kicks. So yeah, P, these guys weren't a big fan of using this gun, but uh, that's why it's not too dirty. Yeah, just run another patch down there. You can just use the mop if you want. It's a lot easier to run it through with just the mop. But then your mop gets filthy, and you're only going to get a couple cleanings out of it before you're going to have to replace the mop. So I like to run a patch down there with it. It makes it a little more difficult to get through there, but it saves your mop. So what I do is I'm just going to keep running rags through, okay? And again, every time you come through, guys, you got to take the mop back off. And you're never going to be able to pull it back through the other way. It's not like with a rifle where you're trying to protect the crown or anything. There's, you know, they, there's no special target crown or anything on these barrels, but you still got to take it off every time. Put it back on. Run another rag. It's 
still coming out pretty dirty. Maybe one more pass, we'll see. it on through and that's not too bad guys it doesn't need to be perfect it's just got to be clean enough so that was barrel number one we're going to repeat the process for barrel number two Yeah, it can get a little tedious, guys. I do enjoy cleaning guns, though. Normally, I'd be down here in my garage in the workshop. I'd put some music on, but fortunately, while I'm filming, I can't do that. YouTube won't allow you to use music in your videos, so... Alright guys, we're going to do one more pass, make sure we got all that bore cleaner out of there. And again, sorry for the camera angles guys, there isn't much I can do about that. Working with limited space here. And like I've said in previous videos, I'm, I'm filming on a Blackberry guys. I don't have fancy camera equipment or anything. But yeah, it's coming out pretty clean. All right, so <clears throat> now we just want to wipe down all these little parts in here on the side of the barrel. Make sure there's nothing built up on there. It's not too bad. Make sure we get back here, get these ejectors. That's not bad guys, I can live with that. Try and get a look down the barrel there. Okay. Nice and clean. All right, now that it's cleaned, what we're gonna do is, we just wanna put a little bit of oil on any of the parts where you got metal touching on metal, okay? So, what I do is, normally I use a Q-tip. You don't even really need to. There's not much to do on the shotgun here. Let's put a little oil on a pad, okay? Squirt a little bit on there. Right here in the frame. Let's put a little oil here, a little on this side. Just where the barrel mates up with the frame here. Okay. 
Then I like to put a little bit of oil in my barrels, okay? Number one, if I'm storing them, even for a couple of days before I know I'm going to be using it again, I still like to oil the barrel just to keep it protected. So what I do is I just, I literally just drip the oil right down into the barrel. Just a couple drops, you don't need too many. Couple drops on each side. I know it seems like a bit much, but like I said, this is my squirrel gun guy, so I'm gonna have this out in the woods and everything. And I wanna keep it protected. Um, so yeah, you put a couple squirts down there, and then what you're gonna do is take a pad, okay? Once again, you're gonna run a pad down your barrel. Let's go ahead, put it on the mop, push it through. Barrel number one. Very tedious, guys. Very tedious. Cleaning these shotguns. I mean, it's very repetitive. That's why I'm not going to show you both guns. It's completely redundant. Let's grab one more pad here. Bear with me. Gonna run this down the second barrel now. Go ahead, take that mop head off. We're done with that. Done with the cleaning rod. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and reassemble. All right. Oh, almost forgot. Now, let me just go ahead and grab the Q-tip. Oil up your Q-tip. You could use a pad if you want to use a pad. Just want to put a little bit of oil right here. Right here on the side. Make sure you get both sides. Anywhere where there's going to be friction, guys. Metal on metal. Anywhere where parts rub together. Get these ejectors in here. You don't need much. A little bit of lube goes a long way, guys. That's about it. All right, now we just go ahead, reassemble. Okay. Put your barrel back on your frame. Get your forend. Pop your forend back on. Once you're reassembled, grab your uh, lubricating wipes. Okay. Take a wipe and wipe down the entire gun. It's safe on the wood. You can use it on wood. That's not a problem. Okay. It lubricates. It protects. It puts a nice finish on the gun for when you're all done with it. Rub down the whole thing. Get the barrels. That nice shiny finish on there. And there you go, guys. There she is. Franky Falconette. All cleaned. All right. Um, I got to go finish up. I got to clean another one. I'm going to be cleaning my... Uh, I got another double barrel over there I got to take care of. It's a... Uh, what is that? That's the uh, the Stoger Condor 12 gauge over there. Um, yeah, uh, that, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you. Um, 
that's how you clean a double barrel 12 gauge shotgun it's it's pretty simple you know they're they're not a very complicated design they're they clean pretty quick and uh yeah that's it guys thanks for tuning in we'll we'll catch you next time